there are still many, many aspects of this nation, this land, these people. We are seeing how to look at uh, bringing out the dimensions which are hidden from the eyes of a tourist brochure. So this is an exploration of the American heart. Let's see what we discover. Let's see what exciting things we encounter and what amazing sights we definitely bound to have. Probably one of the oldest structures in North America still surviving, nearly two thousand years old, the ritualistic fortress that was built by the Native American tribe. McManville birthing tree, a whole lot of Native American women have delivered their babies here in the shelter of this tree. Wherever we go, uh, South Indian Lemon rice won't leave us. <laughs> the Native Americans who built mounds for various purposes, built cities along the Mississippi banks. Huckleberry Finn, when I first read this by Mark Twain, uh, it so excited me, which led me to float down Kaveri River. The chief Pontiac of the Ottawa tribe was killed by the Illinois tribes in revenge uh, no they chased them. this band of braves or no screen for the young men to see. and they came and holed up Leave on this rock and Leave the two tribes, Potomovic and the Illinois tribes surrounded them. I don't know for how long, but that entire band died here on top of this rock, starving. So it has this name as Stout Rock. <coughs> The next one is going to be one long ride. On the way, there's a very unique uh, mound system called Herpigy Mounds. They're in the form of uh, birds and animals. Evening uh, after the Herpigy Mounds, we rested there for a couple of hours and uh, started off uh, just before midnight. Back to old ways, <laughs> full night riding. This is an American buffalo. In many ways, uh, it's the buffalo migrations which determined the Lakota life. Killing of the buffalo was a part of the strategy to starve the Lakota nation and it worked unfortunately. We will be going west towards Black Hills in the next couple of days and we will be exploring this possibility uh, of who they were, their spiritual process, they had very elaborate systems of rituals, we will explore these dimensions. Nation. The gift that I'm going to present to my friend is not coming from me, it's coming from this mountain, from the Creator. These are the most sacred to us. And I could see his spirit 
It's very strong. With absolute passion for everything around them and a certain sense of dispassion about their own life, about their own death, I think there is a lot that modern societies need to pick up from ancient societies because there was a certain cohesiveness with life around them. Without that cohesiveness, everything seems to be problem. We have a long way to come, Native Americans, to heal ourselves. People are talking about ecology as a science, that way it'll never work. Ecology should become our heart as it was for the indigenous people here. Their heart was land. That is one dimension that we really want to present to the world. That's the reason why I'm meeting all Native American leaders, medicine men and others, so that they express themselves clearly. And their message is not of the past, it is most relevant for the future. Matotipila, in my experience, in the entire North American continent, at least in United States and Canada, I would say, is probably the one most powerful space that you can see in this part of the world. Uh, Tab, you are a singer, you must spend minimum three days at this Matotipila, Especially on the full moon night, I'm telling you, you will realize something, something tremendously powerful. Anybody who realizes or opens up the throat center, their ability to connect with life, I'm saying when I say connect with life, you can touch beyond your physical reach, literally touch. Here there's an energetic body expressing this dimension of the throat center in the human system in an extremely powerful way which is... Uh, I've never seen a place like that. In many places, natural features which have a certain amount of energy, but the important thing is the way it's responding to human presence. <laughs> Unbelievable. that they existed here not as exploiters of land, but as land itself. Meeting, conversing, understanding, and above all, projecting the image of Native American people in a positive and relevant way to the rest of the world. This is the mission.